Josh from Gloss Fitness here and today I'm going to show you the best cardio alternative. This seems to be pretty new, it's getting some hype. I'm sure it's been around a while but I'm so thankful to bring it out to you guys. Alright, so these are called treadmill pushes. These are brutal. The benefits of these are they're going to work your whole leg, you're going to get a nice flex from trying to balance your upper body up there, you'll actually see a good pump and you're gonna get a lot of explosion out of this. Explosion with your cardio is important. Doing long slow twitch movements and like jogging get very boring and monotonous. This brings a new challenge and brings a lot of potential for bodybuilders and power lifters to incorporate it into their training. All right guys, so the first thing you do is you're gonna wanna get on the treadmill. You're gonna wanna try to start pushing with your feet. If you're like me, you're probably not going to be able to push the treadmill and that means you're going to have to up the speed. Now upping the speed higher is going to make it a lot easier for you. Um, for me, I found around 1 or 1.5 speed was pretty perfect. It allowed me to push it a good amount with not, without helping me too much. And no, this isn't bad for the treadmill. I've been using the same treadmill for over a month now. I haven't noticed any difference. I believe it's perfectly fine. One thing to remember, don't have the speed too high or you won't be able to push the treadmill out of the tracks. It's not going to be providing enough resistance needed to get the adequate muscle worked within this exercise. So now you've determined your speed, you're on your treadmill, what next? Hand grip. A lot of treadmills have different hand grips. Some are going to be close, some are going to be wide. Your goal is to have your chest nice and postured, head down in a position where you can really drive from your quads, hamstrings and calves. You don't want to be having your chest moving up and down using the rest of your body to support this. Think of this like a tire push or a sledge push. When you're doing this, you want to be driving with your feet to push that object forward. This object's not going to move, so we're going to want to have to explode off the ball of our foot here, drive through like that. Now this is excellent because this will help sprinters, this will help power lifters. This is an explosive movement, which is so important for sport, powerlifting, and bodybuilding. So you're going to explode off that foot, bring your knee back, come down, explode off the other, keep pushing, keeping that neutral spine, flexing with your upper body, and just working on that explosion, speed and consistency of endurance. All right guys, so if you want to do something like Josh, you can do three to five minutes as hard as you can. Something I've been doing a lot has actually been hit style training. So I go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So I push as hard as I can for 30 seconds. And then what I like to do is something active. You want to be doing something instead of just standing there. So what I like to do is high knees for 30 seconds. It's awesome exercise. You're going to be breathing super hard and it's just like sprinting. If you want more gym hacks, gym cheats, if you want to learn how to be more athletic while becoming bigger and stronger, we're your boys. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Share this with a friend, like, thanks so much for checking in and joining the Colossus Army today. We'll see you in the next video. Up, 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 up. Let's go. One. Yes. Yeah, buddy. No.